Welcome to Habit Tutorials. To begin, I am Dion Council, founder of Money School. Today, we'll cover trading views hotkeys in a nutshell as many people still move manually despite having many hotkeys. Hotkeys can be faster and more convenient in some circumstances, especially for repetitive tasks. With this, we'll go over the best, most regularly used hotkeys to make you a better chartist. So to begin, we're going to start with the scroll function. And everyone knows if you have a mouse plugged into your laptop or your computer or you just use a two-finger scroll on a laptop, you can scroll in and out just by rolling the mouse wheel. And this is a very simple thing and everyone knows about this. But something you may not know is that if you hold the command key on a Mac or if you hold the control key on a Windows computer, what you can do is you can zoom into a specific spot. So right now I'm just zooming in and out normally. But let's say I wanted to zoom into this area of candles here in early 2021 for Apple. You can click the command key and zoom in and it'll focus on wherever the chart is or wherever your cursor is on the chart. And this is super convenient. If you're scrolling back and you don't want to scroll back and then scroll in or scroll back and scroll in, you can automatically just focus on one certain place on the chart and that can get you to where you need to go. And the second thing we're going to take a look at is I see a lot of people who will go up here to the left. They'll click the symbol search box and then they'll type in Bitcoin or whatever. And this is a really slow way of doing it. You don't actually need to manually click up here in the TradingView platform. You can just start typing. And if you start typing with a letter, it will open up the menu or it'll open up the ticker terminal. So you can just type in PYPO PayPal. Here you go. And there was no clicking necessary, right? And then you can click enter and it will send you there. And that's a really cool feature. And again, I see a lot of people going up to the top left. You don't need to do that. And the same thing actually applies to the time interval on the chart. So right now I'm using daily candles. And if you want to switch to, let's say, a 15 minutes time frame, you can click this button and then you can click this button to get back. But one of the best things you could do actually is just start typing a number. And if you start typing a number, it won't open the simple search terminal. It will open the change interval dialog box. And so you could type in anything you want. 156 minutes candles for Apple. Or let's say you want 65 minutes candles. I know a lot of people look at that. You can type in one day. You can type in 12 hours. Right. So the suffixes are DH and then you can do 12 months which is a yearly chart of Apple for whatever you're looking at, Bitcoin, etc. But you can see there's a lot of applications for this, and it's just a much faster way of getting around. And those are probably the three quickest things that will kind of improve your speed on the charts. But I have a couple other awesome hot keys that you may or may not know about. So the first one is you can use Alt. T Alt is again Windows. And then if you're on Mac, it's option. So you can use option. T and let's say again, we're on Apple one day chart here. Just getting around quickly. You can click off T and then you can create a trend line. Point it to point B, there's a trend line. And this is super convenient. I know trend lines are incredibly popular. And so here to here, boom, there's your trend line. And something that a lot of people don't actually know about trend lines is what you can do is you can off T to create your trend line. You just click it and then you have a trend line available for your next click. And what you can also do is you can shift for your trend line to be basically straight or an angle. So if you click shift, so here's your trend line. I'm waiting to place the second cursor down. What you can do is you can click shift and then suddenly you have this rotating clock angle that you can work. So you can have perfectly vertical or horizontal trend lines should you need them at any point. And this is super convenient. I see a lot of questions about this in our Discord or in our Facebook group. And this is just a really nice way to fix that. If you're a big trend line user, shift is click. I unclick shift. Shift is click. I unclick shift. And there you go. So you have a lot of flexibility in that realm. So I'm going to click option. See again to get another trend line ready. And here's another thing that you may not know about right now. The magnet is not clicked on. And what you can do if you want to leave the magnet off but still want to select precise OHLC points. Open high, low, close points. What you can do is you can press command again or control on Windows. And what it'll do is you can see it'll snap the cursor to the closest OHLC point. 
So what you can do is you can be free form like this. Let's say I want to connect this high to this high with the trend line right now. If I start in here, no buono. But what we're going to do is we're going to create one. You click command, it snaps the cursor to the right spot. So even if I click up here, it will still create the point from there. And then you let go of command over here. Click command again. Just press it down right, it's on and off. So I'm clicking it down now. There you go. There's your second point. And that's a really cool thing. Again, people don't know about that. So you can use command and shift to alter the values that you're using for your train lines. Other super additional things that you can use that are also quite helpful. Alt H will give you an automatic horizontal line. So let's say we have a point here and a point here and we want to connect them with a rough horizontal line. That is really ugly. Let me go ahead and change that. But let's say this is a line that we want to connect. You can just pick wherever your cursor is. I guess you could also click Command, but you could do Option H and that will get you your again. Alpha Option H will give you your horizontal line. And the same actually goes for vertical lines as well. So you could do Option B and this will give you a vertical line. Again, horribly ugly. Who did that? And you can get this vertical line. So you can get vertical, you can get horizontal, and then you can also, like I mentioned, in train line. So those are three really easy things that you don't need to go over here and click. You can just use your keyboard to your advantage. Another thing that's super popular is fib retracements. So you can use option F. Again, you can select your spot. And we haven't really customized this. I'm using command here again to pick a precise spot. So it's not just for train line, you can use it anywhere. And we haven't customized this fib to extend across or whatever. But let's say we were doing that. This is essentially how you create it. So there you go. There's your fib and everyone's happy. Other than that, there's a few more. Again, if you're on a blank chart like this and you're at, you could type in anything. One of the things you can do to quickly get to the indicator list is type in forward slash, which is shift question mark. So it's right next to the right shift key. You just click forward slash and you're right into our indicator menu. And from the indicator menu, you can pick your own scripts. You can pick technicals. You can get financial data. You can see scripts that other community members have written. And this is a really good place to get a lot of the automated analysis that you can get on a chart. You just press the forward key and the menu will open right up up. Or option eight. If you're on a Mac, it's good for setting alerts. So let's say we're right here on Apple. Press Alt, and it'll open the alert dialog. And this is from here, you could just set a crossing alert or etc. what have you. And alerts are a very popular tool for trading, right? You want to be aware of when certain moves are happening and instruments that you're following. And so alerts are being able to create alert quickly is really powerful. And so again, that's just option A. The final one that you can use that's a little bit more obscure and you may not use it that much is ALTG. And this will open up the go to menu. And from here what you can do is you can select a certain date that you want to go to that you want to travel to in the past. So let's say, I don't know, let's say you want to go to May 27th. We should have that data and it will take you right there. And the other thing I can do again is just all G, you can click custom range and then you can go to the custom range that you would select for a certain period of time. And that's another thing that you didn't have at your disposal. The hotkeys for trading view have now been completely covered. And this brings us to the conclusion of the list. I really hope that it helps your work get done more swiftly and more efficient. Thank you for watching. View more of our how to videos on our channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content.